Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Unboxing Web 3. New Cheetah here, I'm with my boy Crypto Dilly. We've got a pretty cool unboxing for you. A Web 2 brand jumping into Web 3 with this, with this interesting shoe. Tell us about it, Dilly. Yeah, I mean, before I get into the shoe, I think it's important to kind of highlight Haritos as a brand. So we're talking Haritos. Haritos has an NFT project. They released 777 NFTs and it, they're called Bones by Haritos. And what they have done is they really made a splash in Web3 uh, doing some IRL events. I actually got exposed to them at Art Basel in Miami. You might have noticed the two skateboards that I have above me here. But that's where I really, you know, found the brand and I got kind of involved. And there's been a lot of really cool things that they've shipped out, uh, especially to their holders. They do Taco Tuesday every week uh, where you can actually get $50 gift cards to go to a Mexican restaurant and eat, you know, tacos and have burritos. But some of the cooler things that I've gotten, Kith branded burritos bottles, right? Limited edition kit. Like you don't even see these things on like eBay crazy collector's items. I got two of those. I also got one of their special burritos boxes with limited edition bones uh, NFTs on the actual bottles themselves. You can actually go to the store and pick up a Fiesta party pack with the NFT on the actual bottle. So really cool to have like a collector's edition of this, but also they've done a bunch of skateboard decks beyond just the ones that I got behind me. I mean, we got deck after deck after deck and the thing Producing. is each one has like a different design so like they've been shipping and i'm pretty sure these boards they're like supreme branded the original ones were and then they changed the actual manufacturer to a different skateboard brand company but i mean good quality skateboards like i used to skateboard all the time these are no joke these are actually good skateboards but that's not what we're here for. Uh, what we're actually here for is the Haritos Dunks, okay? I got these for free for holding a uh, Haritos Bones. It was not every holder. I was able to enter into a raffle and I won. And so these bad boys right here, super cool shoes. It's got the green and orange uh, colorway on the bottom of the sole. And then you have this canvas material around the shoe. What's really unique about these is they're designed for skateboardings. These are the SB Dunks with Haritos on the back. Now, what is really unique is that when you actually skateboard a lot, like if you click kick flip or, you know, ollie anything, you're gonna actually wear away the side of the shoe. So the canvas will actually reveal orange, you know, material beneath the burlap sack material that's right there. So over time, it becomes a completely different shoe. These shoes are insane. The quality is up there. I mean, they're SB Dunks from Nike, but they're extremely rare and very limited. So, you know, if you get your hands on these bad boys, you're lucky, right? They come with all these different styles of shoelaces. So I got orange, you can use green, and the green is like a rope-like material, not a standard shoelace. And then you got the white. So I'm rocking the, the white on these. These are always on display. I'm not wearing these. These are these are limited edition here. So yeah, I mean, that's a quick overview. You got the Nike on the one side, the Haritos on the other, limited edition shoe. So viewer, I mean, Guchita, what do you think? Just looking at that. Yeah, so I remember I was in our Basel with you and you were like, Haritos, Haritos, you should get a, a full NFT. And I'm like, dude, I'm not trying to get a NFT of, of some like a so, a soda soda company, right? And then uh, you're like, yo, I got these skate decks. Yo, I'm getting this. Yo, I'm getting that. I got these shoes. And I'm like, dude, you got a pair of shoes from like soda brand, right? And then I remember I, I, I was I was in the international mall where I live and I went to this like this this uh, secondary like shoe store and I see these Haritos like behind like lock and key and they were like for sale for like two G's. And I remember thinking like, damn, dude, Dilly's. Dilly knows what's up. Yeah, man. Props it, to you. You, you. you saw it. You got it. You, you figured it out. Yeah, they're uh, they're very unique. And I actually saw them in Vegas at a high-end shoe store as well. 
They were 2,500 bucks. Uh, so yeah. So could you have purchased these at all or they were just given away to certain collectors? You could have purchased, uh, they were very like limited run. Um, I wanna say that there's like 30,000. So that's, I mean, quite a few in the grand scheme of just like web three. But when you get into sneaker culture, like that's not a super a high number of shoes. So uh, the shoes themselves, I mean, good quality, good pickup for me. I mean, I got them for free, right? Uh, but yeah, yeah. I mean, let's, let's get right into some ratings on these bad boys. I mean, uh, for packaging, I got rid of the packaging the minute I got them. I had nothing special there. It was like a standard shoe box. However, some of the like pre-release uh, or if you actually got the collector's edition box for these shoes, they came in like a wooden crate and I actually had like the different things in there with the burlap sack that you pulled the shoe out of. It was pretty cool experience. So, you know, for the rating of the actual packaging, I unfortunately didn't get the collectors. I'd give it a common. If I were a collector's edition, you know, packaging, that shit's epic. Like it is so cool. And so that's, that's my rating for the packaging itself. All right, so quality. I like I like how uh, you're you're sharing how these shoes when they get warm from skating, they uh, you know reveal a different color. Reminds me of those Gobstopper shoes. I don't know if you've seen those, but uh, but yeah. What do you think about quality? Quality is unmatched. I mean, it's really thick. You know, around the edges, the the tongue is a thick material. It's not like they scamped there at all. Um, you know, you're dealing with a Nike whenever it's just this quality, right? And the fact that they put that extra thought into the actual burlap sack and where you'd actually, you know, wear away while you're skateboarding, that just shows it's an SB dunk. It's super special. So quality, I mean, it is a epic for me on quality, just cause that extra thought that they put into it for the shoe itself. So, all right, so wearability. Um, you said you used to skate. You've got like eight skate decks there. How come them shoes look so pretty? How come I don't see no orange on them shoes? I mean, it's for the simple fact that these are a collector's item for me, right? Like I got them in the class case. You see them in the videos. I'm, I'm not wearing these. Displayability, uncanny. I think that these really pop and people, when they see them, they're like, whoa, what are those shoes? So, I mean, that in itself, uh, these are rate high. This, I mean, as far as wearability, if they weren't a collector's item, I mean, I've seen a ton of people rocking these out. Uh, Severino, shout out. Uh, I know he wears them out in public and he always gets like people looking at his shoes like, whoa, what are those? Uh, so, I mean, definitely wearability is up there. I mean, the brandability of this shoe is just, it's insane. Uh, so yeah, for wearability, displayability, I'm gonna go, I gotta go epic there too. I mean, these shoes are sick. These are shoes. Yeah, these are six shoes. Common, epic, and epic. And then, I mean, shit, I already, I already can tell what the value is going to be. You got these for free, and they're worth over two Gs. So, are you going epic on value? Yeah, I mean, you you took it right out of my mouth, right? Like, value, you get a raffle ticket, you get some shoes, and they're worth two Gs. You put them in display. Like, these are very sought after. Like, people want these. So, yeah, for sure, giving it an epic rating for the shoe itself. Uh, for value. All right, well, I'm gonna give you my viewer score and I'm gonna bring these shoes back down to earth. You're really pushing for this epic. So uh, let's talk about it. So, I mean, I'll give props to Haritos. Like I faded them, but you know, they came out with something that is sought after. Me, I don't know. I mean, sure I'd take them for free, but I still stand by my idea. Like I probably wouldn't be like sporting the soda pop shoes or displaying them much and so yeah, I mean the value though I can't argue with. I'm gonna I'm gonna give it an uncommon. I hate to do it, but like it's still even with that uncommon score, the viewer the the total score still puts us at we got three epics, a common, and an uncommon. So these are rare Nikes, and that that puts them that's probably our lowest score in Nike to be honest. Well, if you're mashing them up with the artifacts, I mean, I would agree. And yeah, I mean, I hate that you're dogging on them. I think that these are uh, some sick shoes. Uh, they definitely stand out. You know what I mean? I started dogging on them a year and a half ago. I had to keep going with it. Just, just maybe, maybe so I can sleep better at night. But no, no, a rare, a rare is awesome for these shoes. They, they rate, they rate up there. You know, with the Pumas. And, I mean, it's still a great rating for a shoe. And uh, and yeah, I don't know. I'm standing by it. You know, soda pop shoes shouldn't get the same level as, uh, you know, some of these uh, Nike artifacts that we've unboxed. But I don't know, bro. That's your I, score. I'm just going to say one last thing. I mean, as far as culture, like, Haritos has culture. And maybe I'm surprised you don't know that living in, like, close to Miami. 
you got, you know, the Latin culture, they love burritos, they love this product, and you may be a soda pop company, but I mean, anywhere you go to get tacos, you're you're seeing Haritos, right? And not only that, but like the brandability of Haritos as a whole. You know, Severino, he was the old creative uh, director over there at Haritos. Now, you know, whoever's doing the creative there, they have like Titleist clubs. I mean, I've seen all kinds of crazy collaborations with Haritos. So, I mean, that's probably where I'm a little bit more of a fanboy. So I'm biased here, okay? But Maxi. I know, I know, I like it. but uh, I need the fridge. Burritos, hook me up with the fridge. We'll replace this over here. We'll get the fridge up, all right? But um, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give this video a thumbs up. Uh, you know, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already or, you know, repost if you're watching this on X. And comment below what you think of these shoes, what you think of burritos. Uh, just give us a little bit of information what you guys think of the videos. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Peace.